Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we will be discussing about list comprehension. Now list comprehension, the formal or basic definition is given over here. So list comprehension provides a concise way to create lists. So this is pretty much very important uh, statement in short. Now uh, with respect to this statement, if I want to discuss about list comprehension. So list comprehension actually provides a very, very easy way to create a list. Now, usually whenever you want to create a list uh, by using Python programming language, most of the scenario you have seen that you'll basically be using a fu inbuilt function called as append and you'll try to add items inside it. So let me just show you one basic example and then we'll try to solve that particular example or create a list with the help of list comprehension. Now, first of all, I'll just define a function saying uh, list underscore square. That basically means this particular function will be taking up list integers inside this and then what it is going to do it is going to create a new list it will create a new list with the square of all the numbers inside that particular list okay so i'll write for i in list okay so that basically means i'm iterating through each and every element inside the list and after this particular thing what i'll do is that i'll create a new uh, list variable something like this list one uh, suppose this is my new list which i'll initialize initially as empty okay and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to basically uh, use dot append function and inside this append. I'm just going to say, OK, what I'm appending, I'm just appending I multiplied by I. That basically means I'm just uh, my, uh, squaring the numbers inside the list and I'm appending inside the list one uh, list in short. Then after this, I'll just return the list one. Now, once I do this, right, once I execute it, now what I have to do is that if I want to execute this over here, I'll just write list square. OK, now inside this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just pass some list of elements. So I'll pass one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. OK, suppose I'm passing this many. Now here you can see that I'm getting somewhere around. I'm, I'm, I'm whatever elements I've given in the list. It is just squared up. So over here, once one, one square is one, two square is four, three square is nine, four square is uh, 16. 5, 25, 6, 36, 7, 49. So it is pretty much simple. What we have done is that we have taken a list of elements. We have created a new list that is list one. And uh, inside that I put up all the elements by squaring those numbers, right? That's it. That's a simple way of creating a list. What I have done over here, but understand guys over here, when I just see the time complexity, I'm basically using a for loop. I'm writing so many lines of code. Okay. And uh, you know, as you write more and more lines of code, more memory is actually required and all this kind of stuff, right? And uh, you also have to use different kind of variables. Now, what if I told you that with the help of list comprehension, I can complete this code in just one line of statement. I don't have to write four to five lines of statement. That is the power of list comprehension. Now, if I want to convert the same code into a list comprehension, what I'm going to do is that first of all, I'll just use square braces. <clears throat> so list comprehension basically works with some amount of code and that is what it basically states over here. It consists of bracket containing an expression followed by a for clause and then zero or more or if clause. Now see, first of all, it has said that it consists of bracket containing an expression. So this is my bracket. Okay. Now I'll write the expression. Now what all expressions I'll write. First of all, I'll say that what it has to return. Okay. So what it has to return. Now you know that over here we are returning i cross i, right? So that is i square. So here also I'll try to return the same thing. So I'll say i cross i, okay? Then it says that the expression is followed by a for clause. Now for clause is nothing but this particular for loop that I have actually written. So for this, what I'll do for i in list, that's it. Now see, first of all, I'll define the list over here because here I have actually passed this list value. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to pass it over here. Okay, now this particular terminology that I have used is basically called as a list comprehension. So here I'm just applying the expression for I in list and I'm just returning I multiplied by I. That is how it is basically written. The list comprehension is basically written. Now what I can do is that I'll just write this in my next line of code. and I'll just cut it over here. I'll write it over here so that you don't have any confusion. So this is my list created. Now if I execute this particular line of code, Okay, it is giving me an error. Uh, let me see why the error. Okay, sorry. This is I created a multiple nested list. <clears throat> so here you can see that 
I have just used i cross i for i in list. Now since I have used this inside my square braces, all this expression is inside this, automatically uh, it is iterating through, through this particular list and then it is basically squaring up that numbers and I can see all the numbers over here like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. I can also save this in one variable if you want. Suppose if I want to save it in list 1, here it is and if I go and print list 1, you can see all the numbers are intact, right? Now, the main power of this is that you have just written one line of code, right? One line of code and you are doing all those things what you had actually defined a function as, right? And this is pretty much useful. You are basically reducing the number of lines of code. This is pretty much faster when compared to this above way how we have basically written. Now, not only this. Now, suppose, let me just take an example saying that, okay, I'm passing this list of numbers, right? Now, what I want is that I just want to do the square of only the even numbers. Now, see this, only the even numbers. So, I'll just go again back to the definition. Here, you can see that after following, after following a for loop, there may be more for loops or if clauses also. So, what I can do is that over here, you can see that if I want to just do the square of an even numbers, I only have to put one more condition saying if condition, if I percentile 2 is double equal to 0. That's it because this is my if condition guys. So how it will run now? Now it will go first once this i iterates through this particular list, it will go and check this particular condition and if this condition is satisfied, then only it will multiply and give you back the results. So If I execute this and if I again see my print list 1, now you can see that I am having 4, 16 and 36 because I know 2, 4 and 6 are even numbers. All the other numbers are not even, right? And similarly, I can also apply it for odd numbers also. So here is my odd numbers and it is basically doing the squaring of those odd numbers. So pretty much simple about list comprehension. I hope you understood why we basically do this because understand guys, just to create this, just to create a new list over here. I am I'm, I'm simultaneously doing a for loop. I am also applying an append function. But instead of just doing all these things, I've just written a single line of code, which is this as an example of list comprehension, right? So this is pretty much important to understand because at the end of the day, if you are writing a code which requires less amount of time, if you're just following the syntax, I think that will definitely save you a whole lot of time. So this is pretty much important to understand. So I hope you understood about list comprehension. You can also write different, different complex functions where you are actually creating a list and you can also convert that into a list comprehension. So this is pretty much simple guys. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you have not already subscribed, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all. I'll see you all in the next video.